What kind of ghoul is your son? I'm a regular run-of-the-mill ghoul. Don't you know that by now? You've only been chumming around for what seems like forever. But that can't be right. So, you are not a magical ghoul? Well, I've read a few books. I can pull a quarter out of your ear. If you have ears. I used to, when I was human. And now that you're a counter-obscura box with a soul trapped inside, you have to admit, you haven't had to worry about earaches for centuries. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a win-win. A magic ghoul could turn me back. Oh dear, look at the time. I'm late for brushing my tooth. So, you just go on ahead and make up a list of things you want old Hannibal Ferox to pull out of his butt for you and pass it along to the Easter Badger, or Possum, or Rodent, Mickey Mouse. You are actually telling me the truth this time? You mean it? <laughs> of course I do. I have no idea what I just said means, but if I said it, I'd stand off to the side of it all the way. Oh, I am so happy. Ooh, almost dizzy. Me too. I think it's the starvation. Oh my, I think you may be correct. I think it is hunger pains. I wonder what Mom's got cooking for us. I hope it isn't Italian. Heavy food makes it difficult for me to gravitate and stay afloat. <laughs> Whoops, I think Ed McMahon may be outside holding a seven foot long check. Better answer this. Hello? You reach completely safe, non-threatening people who have no intentions of eating you. How may I help you? 